British Reconquest, on behalf of our vassals, the Mamluks and Georgia, is going quite well. We have decisively destroyed 350,000 Ottoman troops in very short order, and uh, the war is all but over within a little north of one year with the Ottomans. And uh, now the truth is just we need to just keep on rolling through them and uh, get enough war score that we can piece them out. And uh, ideally, we can white piece one of their allies in the meantime. That way we can get a quick cheeky war off with them in the near future. These guys have some cannons, so let's recruit a general in there. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. Welcome back, though, to Anglophile 2.0. Uh, if you guys are enjoying the campaign, please do make sure you let me know. Leave a like on the video. It helps me out more than you know. And uh, consider joining the Discord because we got a really cool community over on the Discord. And uh, we're doing some multiplayer and stuff like that. So if you guys are interested in uh, getting more involved with some other people within the E4 community, as well as just strategy gaming at, uh, at large, consider hopping over into the Discord. And if you do want to, you can also support me on Patreon. That support is really big. It really is what allows me to do what I do. So. Never expected, but always appreciated. You guys are wonderful. I do hope you guys have been enjoying the campaign so far. Leave a comment and let me know how uh, how you're feeling about everything going as well. And since we have 14 years ahead on Diplo, time to start ripping through trade ideas. It's going to go very well. Even on a defensive fort, the sieges are only 25 days. Mm, mm, mm. I love me some steamroll on the Ottomans. All right. So let's do it that way there. And let's get rid of that. I think that helps with lag from what I've been told. Give all the forts to Georgia, just in case the Ottoman wants to try to be sneaky and uh, snipe it back. That way they cannot. Whenever I hear I cannot, I think about um, Total War, Warhammer 2, when you're playing as Tyrion. And Tyrion, you go to uh, tell him to do something, like a movement, and he's not uh, able to for one reason or another. He goes, I cannot. And it always makes me laugh. But, uh, yeah, sniping forts is the best way to get a quick and easy war score. Let's uh, split these guys up here. And uh, continue the carpet siege. There we go. Easy enough. Less than two years, and we're going to be able to piece out the number two great power for a 100% war score. That is uh, significant. That is quite significant. Oh, my gosh. We just won that so fast. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. Carpet Siege over here with you guys, and uh, that. Now, my goal is to white piece Gazik Mook, and then we can attack them in uh, five years, which will allow us to white piece out the Ottomans, which will shorten our truce up by about seven, eight years. Pretty good. And uh, just have these guys group over here. And, uh, yeah, that's that's basically it. So let's have our armies start heading back to where they need to be. I will actually barrage this fort to try to get it a little bit quicker. Castile over here marching 100,000 men into the uh, the mountains in, um, what is this area called? Armenia. Just letting their men rot on the, on the mountains, I guess. That's fine. They can do whatever they want. It's their prerogative. They are a semi-autonomous AI, just ruled by the same emperor. And there we go. So you just white piece Guzik Mook, which gives you a five-year truce. Then, well, hopefully soon, we will be able to piece out Ottoman. Okay. Very good, very good. These guys are fighting a battle over here. Very close. There we go. These guys will siege that down, and we should be able to piece them out very quickly. Look at them. 41,000 men over here on my march's capital. <laughs> Those rebels just popped over here. Should be handled. Very good. No separatism, please. And uh, occupy a couple of provinces over here. Oopsies. Nice little lag spike. And there we go. No, not quite. They're uh, insisting that we full occupy them. <laughs> That's okay. And uh, I will do a quick run through, make sure that everything is being taken that needs to be taken. Very good. So we want to give everything except for Cyprus back to the Mams and everything to Georgia that we can. Very good. Cyprus stays there. And uh, unless my eyes deceive me, we can now 
Peace out, the Auto Man. There we go. That is a big, beefy Mamluk Vassal and a big, beefy George of March. Very good stuff. Now, make sure that these guys do not get too much development. They have 482. As long as they have less than a quarter of mine, yeah. So they're going to be an ineffective Vassal or ineffective March. So what I need to do is I need to yoink some dev from them. It's going to hurt their loyalty. But um, as long as they stay loyal, it doesn't really matter. So, yeah, this is fine. Uh-huh. They're actually not gaining any loyal disloyalty. Really. I'm very confused. They're still in effective march, though. Down to 440 dev. That uh, math doesn't make sense, right? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, they should start converting their lands immediately. And they do. Very good. Also, please do leave a comment. Let me know how the sound sounds. I've uh, been using... just I haven't been using my headset. Because um, I'm quite keen on not wearing a headset if I don't have to. Because makes my ears sweaty and so i haven't been doing haven't been wearing a headset i'm just uh rocking with my regular speakers and you know my mic is supposed to not pick up it's supposed to be like directional so it doesn't pick up all the extra noise unnecessary noise there uh-huh let's have you guys head over here let's have these guys head up here and over to glipley these guys are heading up there very good this army here can head over here over there very good all right, very good. So, time for some imperialism. These guys are allied to Bengal. I don't care. We have permanent claims on a bunch of this land over here. It shortens up our truce with them as well. We do actually need to be mindful of uh, this war because they probably have... Oh, no, not really, actually. So, all we need to do is uh, take his capital and then white piece Bengal. That's good. Oh, the Ottomans are no longer a valid rival. You have got to be kidding me, man. We have gimped them so much that they are no longer a valid rival. Let's take a look at their debt here. Zero debt. They have no loans. Like you do. <laughs> That's okay. So, let's see here. Hmm. Let's see here. I. What do we want to do with this navy? I suppose protecting down here would probably be best, yeah? I would steer quite a bit of trade. So let's see here. Protect trade in Zanzibar. 40 ducat profit, huh? Yep, let's do it. Generally, the rule of thumb is that it's always better to steer than it is to or protect in a know that you're steering rather than protecting a node that you are um, collecting. So let's get some claims over here. Now that we have imperialism, we don't need them anymore. And let's see here. Can I do anything with my... Ottoman Particularist. Sounds good. Let's see if we can get some Particularists in their nation. Um, let's see here. Do we have mill access? We do not. Not yet, at least. BJ, you want to give me mail access? Once I get a diplomat. We don't have any slots. So, we'll just try to make it quick. And then, uh, same thing with George William Clarence. Have you guys head over. Just start sieging them down as quickly as humanly possible. Again, give the forts over to Georgia because 10 defensiveness... 75 defensiveness. That is pretty good, in my opinion. So we got to be mindful that... Uh... Goodness gracious. My hotkeys. You have to be mindful that uh, these guys have literally 100,000 men running around. And uh, these little 8 stacks are... Um, easy pickings. If I'm not careful with them. Let's go with... Morale of Armies and upgrade you to level 5. As soon as we take his capital, though, we should be able to piece him out. And this fort over here is upgraded to level 6. 
Sadly, it's just a grasslands fort, so it's not actually, like, super good. But that's all right. All right. Um, so these guys are heading over to that fort there, that there. So these guys can group up up here then. Continue converting all these provinces over here. And uh, as we can, we will add them to the trade companies. Well, I guess we don't really need to add most of these to the trade companies. Basically, I'm only adding to the provinces that are... Um, like centers of trade did his rebels pop yes very good <laughs> very good these guys are heading over there not bad at all all righty then so we've taken his capital we should be able to just white piece him i'd be surprised if we couldn't that'll do it and uh that just made this war a lot more straightforward so 1v1 now and there's a large chunk of his army right here let's get you guys grouped up here Oh, they got black flag. All right, that's fine. Corp besieged them down. Buildings. I like production efficiency since I like to invest my mana into dev production. It seems to be appropriate. And then stacking up as much trade power as we possibly can is definitely in our best interest. So we'll just keep doing that. Now this war, oh. This war is going to be good. Um, we're going to take everything that we can that we have claims on. We're just going to make our way down the coast. Touch tips down here. As much Karamandel trade as possible. So that's all the... Hmm. Do they also have VJ? They do. Do I have a claim on VJ? I do not. So it's a little more expensive to core it. So rather than that, we will take this whole state. Oof. That's already 100% overextension. Yeah, this is going to be pretty bad. So, we want to take his forts. So, we'll give that fort back to myself. Something like that. And then that one there. That's good. Also, I have to remember that we can um, yoink a little bit of the dev. So, we'll take that one as well. So, it actually isn't 100. It's actually closer to like, you know, 80%. 85, maybe 90. Um, concentrating in development is overpowered. So, we're going to do that. Very good. Capital is the um, war goal whenever you do an Imperialism CB, if you don't know. Now you do. Let's uh, get these guys full ocupado. And um, I will give these forts to Georgia for now, just in case they try to siege it back. That way I can... not worry about them getting siege back. And then at the last second before we peace out, I will uh, yoink it for myself and all as well. Let's also break our um, mill access. We can't do it because he's got his men in there on my access, so that's fine. But uh, there you go. As long as you can be quick and decisive, you can win any and all wars. Generally, I say phase one of a war um, against an AI is uh, destroying their army. And then phase two is uh, occupying strategic forts and then phase three is the carpet siege. Trade efficiency, just like that. Our income is going to go up quite a bit because we are making quite a bit of money from trade. So 283. Up to, should be like 290. Ooh, 300 buckets a month. Not bad. Look at that. The snowball's incoming, baby. Snowball incoming. We also need to get a navy over here. There we go. National unrest, not bad. I'll take that. Oh no, they're standing on my fort. Oh no. Do one of those guys there too. Extra defensiveness. I like defensiveness. You can do that to uh, trade companies. 400 and it's a forever 30% defensiveness bonus. So give ourselves back these forts here. And uh, that's what we're going to do. Just like that. Easy enough, right? And then we'll also have him give us all his money. We'll take as much as we can from him because... Screw them. It's less money for them to have. And uh, there you go. The Raj grows. And also, it looks like our capital grows quite a bit as well. It's a yoink. Holy smokes. Very good. And it goes from 103 or 100.3. Let's see what it goes down to. Yep, 81%. <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay, so. Some of our boys are stuck over here, actually. All right, well, let's do this here. 
This is a half stack here, half stack here. These guys will suppress over down here. We really need to uh, build the Suez ASAP. Let's get our Navy attached to you and then get our Navy over here. So we just took a bunch of forts from them as well. Strategic. Oftentimes it's in your best interest to make sure that you're taking provinces that will give you the most sort of bang for buck whenever it comes to war. Russia is going to war with a couple of people I don't care about. My uh, vassals will certainly handle them. All right. Let's have you guys grouped up over here. Set up one of your templates there. Boom, boom, boom. You guys come up here. You guys come up there. You guys suppress down here. You guys suppress over here. And then the other guys will suppress up there. We can build another stack. That's fine. And I suppose speed five is good. So, like I was talking about with the Ottomans, our truce with the Ottomans isn't up until 02, okay? Truce with these guys is going to be up in 92, 10 years shorter. So, what we do is uh, when our truce is up, we attack them. Who is allied to the Ottomans? Ottomans come in, we occupy his capital, peace him out, white peace instantly. Shortens his truce by about seven years, give or take. A few years, that, that's the goal here. So we have some men over here being annoying. Hamburg, are you actually landing men on my, on my land? I will make you pay for that. Tech trade in Lubeck. What's the Navy looking like? Yeah, we got to be mindful of this. So I'm thankful for that uh, notification, though. That was useful. All right. So this stack here needs to be conformed. The Army of Ireland. Interesting. All right. Love this music, though, man. So good. All right. So let's get a little home guard here that we can use to protect the home island. Protect Britain. I suppose probably 20 heavies is plenty for that. Or whatever we can afford. I don't care about the prestige. We can lose prestige. That's fine. And uh, we are now done converting most of that. We'll convert all this before we add it to the trade company. All is well. Cuttick should be converted, yeah. Being converted now. Alright, very good. Once we get that stuff all cored up. Very good. So, looks like these boys never actually made it down to Zanzibar. So let's have you not hide at war. Uh, I can lose the admin. That's fine. Castile has quite a few men in the field. Let's take a look at how these are going. Oh my goodness. Are you joking? Why don't you annex Castile? Why don't you annex Castile? This is why you don't annex Castile, friends. Look at this. Look at this. What? Bro, invest in your dang vassals, man. I'm telling you, it is the way to do it. It is the way to do it. It is the way, brother. As long as they have the economy. See, I'm subsidizing them quite heavily. And uh, no regrets. These guys are doing it on their own. I'm not subsidizing Castile. Hungry, I am subsid not subsidizing Castile or Hungry either. That is nuts. British Bengal looking very good though. Again, not trade company it until I can add it to the um, trade company with the correct religion. So take a look at this. I'm gonna get really good war participation without doing a single thing in that war. <laughs> it's too good. And uh, take a look at this. 222 dev in our capital. Where are those rebels popping, huh? Bengali separatists, you'll have that. Easy enough. Georgia's got 12,000 men. <laughs> Let's uh, upgrade his forts. Always want to make sure you're upgrading forts, especially in a march. And... Um, the more defensive they are, the better it is for you, as well as the better it is for, um, just in general, to prevent the AI from getting occupations in your land, right? And this truce up is 92, correct? Yes. So, need to be preparing for that. They gave me Lubeck. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> okay, well, that's fine with me, I guess. Uh, 13 dev. Interesting. All right. Well, let's get a, uh, hmm. 
if if the rebels get high enough we'll just send our army over there that's no big deal we have this little little stack over here for local transport that's good that's all fine let's uh, upgrade our forts in austria they should be doing okay they have their gold mine over here yeah oh they got it dev a little bit as well not bad we also should probably consider revoking Mamluk's march status so we can annex them sooner rather than later. When we're done with this war, I think we will. We have some claims on VJ as well. I don't reckon we're going to be able to get a merchant from either of these, to be honest with you. Oh, 200 a month. Not bad. We're actually getting close to economic hegemon. Which, uh, in my opinion, is uh, the best hegemon in the game. Continue, continue, continue. More goods produced. Manufactories are the best investment you can make in the game. We have lost the Siege of Lubeck. I can't even core up my dang province that I was given in the war. <laughs> um, Ship trade power for 20 years uh, yeah sounds good i i don't care three hundred and ten ducats we're making from that oh yeah we're steering quite a bit more good stuff getting over to beat up on kill soon is going to be in our best interest since most of these rebels are going off and we're able to hmm. Okay, yep, that's the that's definitely the move. We want to annex as much of this as possible. We can probably eat up uh, Melindy in this war as well. So, okay, the plan will be... Free prestige, huh? Stop cost. So we're going to attack Gazak Mook, who will hopefully call in the Ottomans. Yep, looks like they will. We will white piece them again, white piece the Ottomans. And then we will attack Kilwa. Eat as much of the coast down here as possible to start steering much more trade. Look at that. We'll get an extra merchant as well, so that'll be really good. Steering trade from Zanzibar into the Cape, which is going into the uh, English Channel. And uh, we probably should be upgrading these guys as well. So getting out of this war is uh, in my best interest. Oh, hey, an extra merchant. Speaking of, uh, we're steering all the way from there, there, there. We'll steer from here as well. Churchill! Cool name, bro. And uh, it's going to take a minute, but we're at 314 right now. And let's see what happens when that merchant gets there. Still not this month. This month, 317. And it should go up 318. Okay, not so much. That's okay. Let us take them on. Cantalism, Orissi Separatists, handled... We're still 10 years ahead of time on admin. If there's an, if I can put down events, like not have to deal with annoying events just by saying, you know what? You can just, you know, take admin mana. It's fine with me. All right. So when exactly is it over? January of 92. So very close. Less than a year. A little over a year, rather. Money for manpower. Thank you. Thank you. 6,000 manpower per month. That is crazy. All right, so over here, unrest is mostly handled. Let's have you guys brought over here. This is Anglican, and it is a trade center, so I'll add you there. We will also build that there, and we will build that there. And now 26.5 turns into 29. Heading out. There we go. Yes. Um... We can take Miltech ahead of time, and I believe we will, but uh, not this far ahead of time. It's unnecessary. Let's see here. Yes, we can now get free money. And I always explain it. The reason why we do this is because it lowers the dev of the province, makes it cheaper to dev it with spare Diplo and or mill mana. Plus, it gives you a ton of money in your bank at that time, so very useful. All right, so... Let's get some forts down here to prevent annoying um, occupations. 
These are both good forts. Yes. And uh, let's build one here, which will keep them from going through there. Yep. Very good. That's a hole in this fort right here because this fort here doesn't it only communicates over here. So if they come up through here, they can actually march right all the way up to their capital without even uh, they can if they get access through there as well. But that is OK. Um, hmm. Just trying to see here. I don't. Yeah, governing capacity is still dangerously high. So build a bunch of these guys Have to take a look at some state houses as well. Usually you have to build those in your overseas companies. It's annoying. They should be piecing out of this war very soon. Thank you, Russia. 11 favors. Yes, please. I will continue to convert. And uh, Prussia has a disputed succession, huh? I'm just like hmm, eyeballing them. I really want to vassalize them. All right. And uh, in one year, we can attack Gazic Mook. And then we will be able to white piece Ottomans. I think I should probably have these guys conform to a full template down here. So it'll take some time, but that's okay. We got, you know, over a year until we really need to worry about it. But I think that's a good place to call it for the episode. So I hope you guys are enjoying the campaign. I certainly am. Like I said before, if you are enjoying it, make sure you show your support by leaving a like on the video. Helps me out quite a bit. Um, also build this shipyard here to uh, get a little bit of extra reinforcement there so we can upgrade these ships. But uh, yes, and uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know how you're feeling about the campaign. Any and all feedback really is appreciated. And uh, like I said before, join my cool Discord. We have a cool community over there. And also consider supporting me on Patreon. That's all I got for you for today, though. This is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later. A huge special thanks to my top July patrons, Junk Binary, Mr. McFlu, Angelic, Bouncer Steve, Sprocket, Fat Man on Deck, Jay Eden, Jay Clampett, Jay Kapchinski, M. Dressel, R. Lawrence, R. Epp, J. Baller, Lon Damon, Draco Arhavis, Orbit, Jankopotamus, T. Jarden, A. Vickman, Arkenglad, Harry, A. Murado, J. Cutchell, N. Winkler, R. J. Pilant, and many more. I appreciate you guys very much.